Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, the Kayla Brianna, Kayla Brianna, KB, K Brie, Brie, whatever you want to call me. Anyway, so today I'm going to be showing y'all how I made 10 units in two days. I'm going to be showing y'all everything from beginning to end, kind of not really. But yeah, let's go ahead and get to the video. I was good on my own, that's the way it was. That's the way it was. You was good on the love for a favor. I'm so fed in love. Shit, what the fuck you complaining for? Feeling jaded up. You used to trip off that shit. I was kicking to you. Had some fun on the run, though. I'll give it to you, but baby. Okay, so right now I'm going to be bleaching the knots and I'm going to be very detailed, so make sure you pay attention. As you can see, make sure you do have on gloves. Um, the measurements I used, I used the one and a half cups a, of the, oh my god, what the hell. I used one and a half cups of the developer and two scoops of the powder. So you want to make sure whenever you are doing this process that the bleach is still thick. You don't want it to be too thick that it's dry, but you want it to be like a very thick, like two-faced consistency. Like you want the brush to be able to stick in the bowl and like stand straight up like as I'm doing. So this is the consistency that you want. And like I said, I used, um, what did I use? I used two scoops of the powder and then one and a half scoops of the developer. So now I'm just using this little um, spatula, and I'll leave the link below for the spatula. But I like to use the spatula to spread the bleach on the lace so that, you know, you make sure you're getting everything and you're not going through the lace with the um, bleach or whatever. So I'm just going to go ahead and bleach these knots. Show I'm going to show y'all um, how it's supposed to look once it's finished. I'm going to show y'all the products that I used when I washed it. And also, as you can see, I did use the spritz. Um, and I'll leave a link below for that also. But you can use the spritz to just um, use get the flyaways out the way whenever you're bleaching the knots. Because you don't want to get any of the bleach on your um, like baby hairs or anything. So just use take the spritz, spray it on there, and comb the baby hairs out the way before you bleach your lace. Alright, so pretty much this process is pretty repetitive because I'm going to be doing like 10 different laces. So as I'm doing this, I'm going to just talk to y'all whatever. Give y'all a little update on where I've been, what I've been doing, what I've been getting into. Because I feel like I've been like missing an action and I ain't give y'all no type of explanation. So lately I've been, you know, just taking like a little self-care break, taking a mental break. I've been away from social media, away from just a lot of different things, different people. I've just been taking like a lot of time to myself to, you know, get myself together, get my business together. Um, I've been working on my personal credit. I've been working on my business credit. I actually, I actually have been documenting my whole business credit, um, like experience or whatever journey. So, I'm definitely documenting this, recording this. I got screenshots. So, I'm going to be um, making a little series on the business credit, how it worked for me, how I did it, what did I do, and everything once I'm finished. Because, y'all, I do have some things that I'm working on or whatever. But, you know, I just had to take some time off of social media and get it together. And being off social media, honestly, has, like, helped me. It's it's, it's Oh my god, why can't I talk? What the freak? So it's helped me stay focused. It's helped me not, you know, worry about moving at my own pace or like moving at other people's pace, not moving fast enough. Like I feel more comfortable, like, you know, I'm not I'm not I'm living for myself, not worrying about other people's judgment. Because that is one thing that I have been struggling with. Is basically like just doing what I want to do without like worrying about judgments of others and I feel like we all go through it but like I don't know it was really it was really getting to me I was I started to feel like you know I wasn't where I wanted to be and being on like Instagram or whatever it just was like all that shit is fake all that shit everybody is faking everybody is fronting like i can't do it like i've been on tiktok i love tiktok because it's like regular people living their regular every day 
freaking lives and I love his motivation like I've seen more people doing things that like the same thing that I'm interested in or whatever but it's like you think that you'd be the only one who'd be interested or be wanting to know about these things but it's literally so many other people like there's a whole community of people who are doing and want to do the same exact thing that you're doing and like it's just motivation but yeah so that's what i've been doing lately i just been working on myself um working like on my relationships with my close friends my close family and yeah like everything's been great lately honestly but i just had to take like a little break off of social media to get it together but i'm definitely back now back with a better mind frame a different mindset or whatever and I just think that that's something that we all need to do, all need to take, like, a mental break. Even if it's from people, places, things, like, during this time, I realized, like, I do not like going to the club. Like, I already told all my friends, like, don't invite me to the club because I don't want to go. The club is just something that I don't want to do when I go there. I'm, I'm not, like... I'm not happy. Like, I feel out of place. I don't like to drink anymore. Like, I stopped drinking liquor. So, I'm literally just, like, walk, looking around, watching everybody else be drunk. And that's not fun to me. Like, invite me out during the day. We can go get some mimosas, go downtown, you know, do some day events. But as far as, like, going to the nightclubs and things like that, like, I'm just at a point in my life where those things, those type of things don't interest me. So, like, don't invite me. I'm not doing it. I'm not going. And I'm cool with that. It's fine. Call your other friends who want to do that. But don't call me because that's not what I want to do. So, lately, I've just been, like, all about setting boundaries. All about doing what makes me comfortable. All about, you know, like, working on my relationships. Being a better friend. Being a better sister. A better daughter. A better I'm not a girlfriend but you know like just a better a better person all around so that's what I've been doing lately or whatever um let me know in the comments what y'all been up to let me know what all kind of videos y'all want to see from me or whatever I do actually have a lot more videos coming up because last month the month of February I actually uploaded a lot I'm not uploaded I actually recorded a lot of content so I'm backed up I got sick for like two weeks at the beginning of March so it really put me behind or whatever on top of me already taking my mental break or whatever I got sick so yeah I put me behind and yeah so I'm gonna be uploading more videos or whatever but back to this video as you can see right now I'm writing some stuff down on the paper what I'm doing is I'm going through all the orders. I'm writing down um, the customer's name, their wig order, their wig size, the length, and the lace that they use or whatever. So I'm basically like labeling all the wigs so I know what belongs to who, what goes with what whenever I get the bundles. Because the bundles have not come yet at this time. They'll be in later in on this video or whatever. Once the bundles come in, all I'm going to have to do is add the bundles to the wigs or whatever. Because, yes, I did tell y'all I'm going to be making 10 wigs in two days. So, I'm literally showing y'all, like, the easiest, most sufficient way to get this done in the fastest way possible. So, I already ble I'm bleaching. As you can see, I'm bleaching all the lace on the knots. I mean, all the knots on the lace. I ain't talking right now. I'm bleaching all the knots. Then I'm going to label all of the lace. And then as, once I do that, I'm going to wash all the um, all the bleach off. I'm going to go ahead and sew the lace to the mesh dome caps. And then draw the lines on the way caps for the sewing machine. So I'm going to go ahead and get that out the way. But I'm going to do that part off of camera. And whatever, because that part is pretty repetitive or whatever. And this is not a wig making video. This is just a little vlog to show y'all the process of what I go through when I'm making wigs. And, you know, like my whole little work process or whatever. So, right now I am waiting on the bleach to process. And then I'm going to go ahead. And this one looks like it's about ready. So, I'm going to go ahead and wash them off. 
and I will be back you guys so now that we got that washed out this is how it's supposed to look you see the knots they're a little brassy so we're gonna go ahead and wash it with this purple shampoo and I'll leave the comments I'll leave the links below for all the shampoo and conditioners that I use alright so now y'all the bundles are like finally in so I'm gonna go ahead and sort all the bundles out put them together with the wigs and we're gonna go ahead and get this process started Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it And by the way, just got in town And I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky Ruin my vibe, and usually I don't do this often But since recruiting isn't an option Due to unusual rain and thunder Baby, I wonder Baby, I wonder Would you just put your sweats on Put your sweats on for me yeah. I got the plug, I made the call for me mm -hmm. I'm talking late night for ya Let me lay a great time on ya Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel I'm not going to be in the camera today because I look a motherfucking mess. So anyway, y'all. Hi, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. It's me. B. Kayla Brianna. Kayla Brianna. Kayla B. K B. Whatever you want to call me. Anyway. Yeah, so. As you can see. Child. Alright, like I said, I ain't talking to y'all today. Anyway, y'all can talk to my stomach. So anyway, as y'all can see, today's going to be a busy ass motherfucking day week whatever i don't know i'm gonna try to get as most of this done today as soon as possible what the fuck i'm gonna try to get most of this done today i already got one wig finished and out the way y'all i just had another client drop off this wig she wants me to color her roots or whatever so that's gonna take like 45 minutes out of my time and then i got another wig i have to wash for an install for a customer Oh, and I'm gonna do a little vlog on this or whatever. Let me out the way. This is how her wig looks. This is the before for her wig. I'm about to wash it, do a little revamp, reinstall her on Thursday. But before then, because I have to install this on Friday, we gotta pluck her, style her, get her ready before her install. For I mean, at two o'clock on Friday, so. We got a lot of work to do, plus all of this right here. Yes, you see it, you see it, you see it, you see it, all the shit. So, I'm gonna show y'all how I do 10 wigs in two days. So, as you can see, I already prepped the wigs or whatever. I got the little tags on them or whatnot. I already plucked them. What the hell? Oh, okay. I already plucked them. I got the tags on them. Hold on, wait. So, I'm making the Shawnee unit. The size is a 22. The Shawnee unit, unit is a 24 inch. Um, I believe it's 24. Is it 24? It's 22. The Shawnee unit, unit is a 22 inch loose wave unit with a five by five closure body weight closure so i already have um her wig size right here i have the bundles and the name of the unit so i already know what unit i'm making or whatever i already um also as i can see i got a lot of fucking wigs to do i gotta do 10 wigs in two days y'all heard of 10 wigs in two motherfucking days so i'm gonna hurry up get straight to it because i got a lot of work to do i'm gonna show y'all how i do how i how I do this, but I'm I'm doing it. It's not in a mess. I'm very organized with it. I'm gonna get all these wigs done in two days because they're already like literally halfway done. All I have to do is sew the bundles on, wash them, style them, and send them on. I already plucked them. I already customized them, and I already put the 
lines on the weight cap so literally all i have to do is grab the bundles which these are her bundles this is a this unit belongs to chelsea she has an ashani unit her size is 22 inch so the ashani unit are these loose weight bundles right here let me take them out the pack so i guess i will this is the our loose weight bundles so the Ashani unit is made with um, 22 inch loose weight bundles and a 5x5 closure. So. Alright, so that pretty much sums up the video. Now I'm just going to be sewing the bundles on all the caps or whatever. And I'm literally not about to show y'all that whole process because it is like, yeah, very long or whatever. But um, a lot of people have actually been asking me for sewing machine classes. However, I do not feel comfortable giving sewing machine classes yet because I feel like I have not mastered the sewing machine. I want to be able to know how to like fix the machine when it breaks down, how to clean the machine. Like, you know, I just want to be a master at the machine before I go around giving out sewing machine classes. Another thing I also feel like I want my students to also already know how to do a hand sewn wig. Because a lot of times, even when I'm making a sewing machine wig, I still have to go through and hand stitch some things. Like I hand stitch the closure or whatever. I might, sometimes I might just hand stitch the top bundle because, well recently I haven't, but when I first started out, I used to hand stitch like the top bundle with it because I just didn't feel comfortable enough, you know, using the sewing machine at, on certain spots of the wig, if it makes sense. But I feel like you need to know how to use the, or how to do the hand sewn method first. When I do offer the hand sewing method classes, however, I'm not offering the sewing machine classes yet. So if you don't know how to use a sewing machine, I do have some people who I can refer you to. However, I do not give out sewing machine classes, but I do have hand sewing machine classes, one-on-one closure, and funnel making wig classes. And... Um, wig installation classes so if you're interested in booking a class with me on how to make a wig using the hand sewing method definitely look on my website and yes so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here if you have not already liked comment and subscribe on the video please make sure you do so and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching